Want to know my number one secret for staying sober during the holidays? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Let's ignite the world. As someone who is celebrating over 580 days sober and upon this video, 365 days, a full year with quitting weed, I wanted to make this video for those out there who may be begun their sobriety journey, whether quitting alcohol, smoking weed, or is on the path to doing so and wants to do so. I felt called to make this video because I've also been seeing a lot of positivity on my timelines on social media with those who are wanting to stop drinking, those who want to quit smoking marijuana. Now, no matter where you're at on your journey, I commend you. Whether it's the thought that came into your mind that you want to get sober, because I was there at one point. I never would have thought I would live a life where I'm completely clean, cleansed, where I don't have no temptation to want to pick up a beer or drink liquor, or I don't feel the need to spark up a joint, roll up a backwood. I'm completely free, even smoking cigarettes. I've been delivered, and I could thank my Lord Jesus, my Savior, in doing so. But it hasn't always been an easy journey. The holiday season is here. Let's be honest. It's a time where most of us get together with friends, with family, with loved ones, people we haven't maybe seen in a while. And guess what? Everybody wants to ch ch cheers, right? Clash, clash. Have a drink with me. Take a shot with me. Let's get drunk. Let's do it like old times. Let's reminisce. And I understand completely. And you might be thinking to yourself like, man, I don't want them to judge me or to think different of me because I'm bowing down and I'm not taking a drink. Let me be the first to say, as someone who has celebrated already well over two years of not drinking, that it really doesn't matter. You'll be surprised. A lot of the things that come in our head when we're going to these functions and how people are going to judge us when we respectfully decline and say no. Most of the time is never what we think. Uh, my grandpa, I love him. My abuelo, I love him. I was thinking in my mind like, wow, is he going to think different of me because I'm going sober now and I'm not able to take a drink with him like I do every year or, you know, spark a joint with him and have those moments and those discussions with him. The truth of the matter is, he still loves me. The truth of the matter is we still have conversations. The truth of the matter is it didn't matter. And the number one secret I want to give to each and every one of you out there to remain sober this holiday season is to just stand on business, stand on business, stand on discipline, stand on being a better version of yourself for not only yourself, but for the people around you. Someone like me, I'm standing on business. I'm keeping this temple clean for my God and Savior. I'm keeping this temple clean for myself, being a better version of myself so I can be a better version for my daughter, my two sons, my wife. What I love is that when you stand on business, most of the time, no one's even going to ask like, oh, you don't want to take a drink or you being a wuss. How come you're not drinking? None of that. And honestly, if it ever got to that and you feel comfortable, you shouldn't first, you shouldn't have to explain yourself. You don't have to explain yourself to nobody, whether your family or not. And if your family or friends are knocking you for wanting to rise above, well, you shouldn't be around them anyways. It sounds to me they're just trying to keep you down because the more I guarantee you this, the more you go on this path and then you realize you don't need that alcohol, you don't need the weed smoke, you don't need none of that, you're going to see a lot of great things start to unfold for you. And maybe it's already been there your whole life, but now you can see clearly. You deserve this for yourself. You're anyone like me. I battled with nicotine addiction in my late teens into my 20s, alcohol addiction from hard liquor, this is OG4 Loco came out. You remember like before it got banned and they did the swip swoop, <laughs> 40 ounces, beer, champagne, you name it. Just a whole bunch of alcohol, 18 and up. You know, I, I didn't finally get fully sober until I was 32 years old. And then of course, weed. That was something I did occasionally, seasonally, 
I would take breaks, come back on, but all these things before I realized my precious gift that we've all been blessed with is a body. What am I doing to it? You know, I'm trying to have longevity for my kids. I'm trying to stay focused. I got big goals. I got a big calling. And I heard this from the Lord himself. And I didn't hear it fully until I completely got rid of all distractions. And I realized a lot of it was boredom, you know, and I realized a lot of it was just a crutch of just thinking who I was when I was on this alcohol, this weed, this you name it. So stand on business, stand on what you believe in. I would encourage anyone out there if you are, because it's only two months. I mean, we think about November, December, right? If you're just now starting, you might not, you might be more prone to relapse. And I would encourage you if you really feel that strongly to sit one out, sit the holiday season out, you know, go on monk mode, go on, stay low key. You know what? You know what the flex for me is? A peace of mind, a peace of mind that if I do have to drive out, which I will have to do this Thanksgiving, we're going out of town. Guess what? Your boy is sober. I don't have to be paranoid or drive dirty and have my kids there. And I had a few drinks. Ah, I'm focused. I am clear headed. Less risk for even arguments or getting into anything with a family member or friend. Be grateful for your journey, which maybe you've begun or you're about to begin. You know, you're taking the first step. The first step to being the best version of you. For any of you out there who want some encouraging words, I'm telling you, you got this. Okay, you got the idea in your head. You just got to put the work in. And then after that, stay consistent. I might get a little crazy at Thanksgiving. Guess what? I'm going to be drinking some ginger ale. Maybe a cream soda if I'm feeling froggish. Stay strong this holiday season, wherever you're at in your journey however old you are. Remember this also, temptation is not from the most high. If you're tempted to do anything, it's not from God. There's a Bible verse too. I think it's 1 Peter 5, 8. Stay sober-minded, okay? Stay sober-minded. It says that in there. Watch the goodness. Keep on going. You guys stay blessed by the best. Ignite the world.